Soccer Universe twists and turns in the races for the Champions League. Uh, that's basically what happened yesterday. I made my big video where I explained to you what could be the implications with some chances. Everything gets of course changed, and I will have this in the big roundup video uh, with the changed, the changed uh, positions and probabilities, but the. Uh, old text just before things happening. I actually watched most of, because it was so convenient, uh, most of Atalanta against Napoli, where I said if Atalanta gets a win, they will put a lot of pressure on Milan because they will grow level with them. Milan still ahead, thanks to the head to head uh, between uh, Italy, it's all about head to head. That's the saving grace for Milan at this point, uh, at this stage. And yep, um, the game started as I was hoping for with Napoli, thoroughly dominating uh, Mertens, seemingly getting a beautiful goal, and you see that it actually was uh, deflected into the net. I think they still gave it to Mertens, but um, I could see how. You could, could get this uh, give this as an own goal, and Napoli should have made two right there. Uh, and even not, if not then, uh, in the 50th minute when Milik uh, chips over the goalkeeper, and the ball is saved on the line. I mean, with a little bit more force, this is a two-nil, and the game is done and dusted. But Atalanta finds its way back, uh, has a big chance, and in the end, the ball gets to Zapata, who equalizes. Uh, 69, 68, 69, somewhere there. And at that point, you really could feel that the game might be turning. Uh, Napoli had a, another chance by Milik, but you could see that Napoli is not a very solid team at the moment. They're a little bit falling apart all over. I think not having a title uh, challenge any, any more really hurt them than also the, you know, I think there's a lot of negative. Uh, not necessarily bad results, but disappointments piling onto Napoli that actually make it hard for them to um, succeed in the end. So yeah, um, it fell apart with really amateur defending. Uh, the ball again falls to Zapata, who goes into the box. There is a defender there, and then Ospina for some reason uh, decides to come out. And of course, Zapata sees that, back heals it, and uh, yeah, scored the winning goal. Uh, was not Illichi, it was the other. Uh, whatever. Uh, it goes back and it is headed. Uh, it is slotted home. Napoli then tries, but it was more desperation than anything. I mean, not even des desperation, because for them, it really does not matter that much. You are in more or less a no man's land between first and third, uh, where, yes, you don't have the Champions League 100% uh, 100 secure, but it is more or less secure. So that goal is achieved, and then uh, where do you go from? Can I challenge, challenge, title challenge is also over. So yeah, uh, for a Milan fan, a really disappointing uh, result, honestly, um, because now, we have Atalanta back, really back in business. And I thought like two months ago, uh, at latest when Milan won at Atalanta, okay, the Atalanta challenge is over. No, it is not. And to be honest, I actually think at, the, at this stage, Atalanta will deserve that spot. They really play well. They are a well-rounded, exciting team to watch. Um, I'm really getting to, to, the, to, to, to the point it's hard for me to say, but I think Milan does not really deserve that spot. There are way too many points dropped for absolutely no reason. And for that reason, as much as I wish that the Champions League, I mean, I, it's it's a must for Milan to get in, into the Champions League. As much as I wish for that, I don't think Milan deserves it. Um, Germany also has their own race where Frankfurt was already sitting in fourth spot. With a win they really could have sat pretty, um, 
but after some protests against the Monday night games in typically German fashions, I think they were throwing candies on the field that needed to be removed. Uh, the game started slow in the second half. It was actually then Wolfsburg who had quite a few chances. I think the, the ball hit the bar twice or the post. Uh, but then Frankfurt against the run of play gets the goal. I would say horrible jersey, jersey match with Frankfurt in the red. I mean, it makes sense. And then Wolfsburg in their dark green. Didn't really like it uh, that much. And of course, the one thing Wolfsburg, uh, the keeper now at this moment, is the longtime Lask keeper, Pavel Perwan, who was our captain until he moved now to Wolfsburg. Pretty cool uh, guy and keeper. Um, and yeah, probably, probably the last coach that will go to Wolfsburg. Uh, still, yeah, the negotiations are ongoing on that front. So Frankfurt gets the go-ahead head goal. Wolfsburg gets a decided equalizer, which means that Frankfurt cannot separate itself as much as they wanted. Uh, but I actually think that Frankfurt is in the best position, given that they had a tough match during during the week. Uh, they probably got than they asked for. Uh, more than you could really uh, expect, especially when you saw uh, the run of the game. Then at the same time, so that is a Champions League race, but I think that one is not as open. Another one that is open is of course the one in England. United is a little bit dropping off. Chelsea had the huge chance to uh, go into third place, yes, with a game more, but go into third place put some pressure on Spurs and Arsenal. But yeah, the game, Chelsea started out brightly, but Burnley got the lead. Chelsea responded. A beautiful move by Azar uh, near, near the touchline, the cuts uh, in, cuts out, puts the ball into the box, Kante slams it home, 1-1. One, one. Few minutes later, uh, Iguain with a typical Iguain shot, um, and you know, this was probably the first really good game I've seen of him in a while. Granted, since he moved to Chelsea, I have not seen much of him. Uh, but at Milan, there was only a short period where he, he, he was good. And Iguain's forte is not the big goals in the big games. His forte is to get the goals against a small opponent, to break down a small opponent. And that was well, what he did, made it. 2-1 for Chelsea, and you think every, everything is running well, now Ashley Barnes gets the equalizer, I think, in the 24th minute. So another four goals very early on, and then Chelsea cannot find the breakthrough uh, to make to get the win. And so, yes, they move now into fourth spot, but still behind Spurs. And after Arsenal dropped a vital point at home to Palace, this actually feels uh, like a letdown for Chelsea because you really could have put Arsenal into trouble. So that race also for for, for the two Champions League spots. Uh, I mean it's the race for fourth for Chelsea I guess because you still have the feeling that Spurs kind of looks safe-ish but you never know. It's still very 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 tight. And then there was the small matter of Benfica reclaiming top spot which they did against Maritimo in quite convincing fashion. It was only 1-0 at halftime, could have been more. It is 6-0 at the end with Joao Felic, uh, the talent being the best player on the pitch. Horrible jersey matchup again. Uh, it may fit in the traditional jer jerseys, but Maritimo in a dark green and red pants with white socks. Um, while I don't mind the kit against Benfica, it didn't look good. That was the action of yesterday, I think the main action. I was watching, there was a lot of in the championship, but I don't really follow that. I saw that Leeds lost and Norwich didn't get a win, so all the play for still there. Leeds, I think, looked better a few months ago before the whole uh, spike it. Anyway, let me know what you think about all these Champions League races, where they might go. Or go. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of the big roundup coming. I know this is not premature, but the big round around the round, round is coming uh, late, later today. And yeah, 
I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.